Hey, you two, it's time to get up. There's a morning meeting. The bishop's going to call everyone into the morning meeting. We got to go back to the city. Going back to the city. Your mom's going to be pissed, dude. Yeah, come with me now. Let's get out of here. We got to go see the bishop. He's reading the morning poem. You know, the morning poem every day, the same motivational energy to get us to work. Oh, God, I'm sick of this morning poem. Those guys, every day, same old thing. Wake up, we'll read the poem. Okay, so here's the narrative. Um, they fall in love, the queen gets sick. Oh, God, the classic future dystopic story. Two horses, they're narrating. Okay, you're so cool, I love you. And then there was a clone society. Everyone was bred in little test tube petri dishes and handed out to mothers and daughters and sons. And the whole entire society was just a bred clone society. And the bishop was like Maurice Bishop, you know, from Granada's Invasion, the communist socialist from the London School of Economics. Okay, so the kings and the queens and the bishop and the rooks. And here's our pawns. And they're sitting there and they're like, whoa, we're going to like revolt with the mirrors. But really, I just want to listen to techno music. Get some house in there. 120 beat matching tempo. Just some hardcore. Love it. So anyway, there's this character, Voltaire. Everyone time shares him. He's a little satanic figure. He gets into your head. Okay, so he wants everyone to read the poems. He's like the programmer of society. And they're figuring it out. They're like, no, okay, so we're going to start a revolt. So the pawns start to figure it out. Now let's hand out the mirrors, man. I love handing out the mirrors. The mirrors are so cool. Oh, Mom, what are you doing? Now, you guys, if you're going to be in love, you guys have to follow some rules. Okay? So they fell in love. Started walking way out in the city. It's pretty cool. Two pawns. Sitting there. Oh, you're awesome. No, you're awesome. Hey, look at my mirror. <laughs> oh, whoa, what are you doing? That's a reflection of myself. Oh, my gosh. I love mirrors. Mirrors are like, they're awesome. I just want to go listen to techno. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you. You're so cool. Me? Yeah. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I guess I am. Come over here. Let's go dance to some techno. <laughs> you want to go dance to techno? Hell yeah. <laughs> I love that. It's just like, do, 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 do. Just go. Yeah. <laughs> Evil king. I'm going to stop this. Put an end to this. You cannot let them connect. You cannot let them connect. If they connect, they're going to usurp your kingdom. Never let pawns fall in love. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> I'll never let them. You read them my poems, okay? Remember when we chose you and we turned you into a little evil beast monster who controls everyone? You remember when you became the king? That was me. That was all me. <laughs> yeah, that was all me. I did that. And we, we can make you dance. You want to dance? <laughs> Come on, let's go dance. Let's get some party music in here. Okay, so what do you want me to do now, Voltaire? Well, pretty much you're a bitch. We control you. You're a hypnotic robot. You're our king leader bitch. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got to come up with a plan. Let's go ahead and let's build. The king has a plan. Everybody come to the city. The king has a plan. You hear that? Yeah, I heard that. What's going on? The king has a plan. We got to go to the city. <laughs> really? Yeah. Let's go. Marching on and see the king. You guys zapped. You guys are all going to be under my control. Hear ye, hear ye. King has a mission for everyone. You're going to build a super dome society. You understand? A society. Here's the dome. Here's here's Mr. Lipka. Ooh, look inside my dome. <laughs> you like that? Oh, we're the nanotechs, man. We're building the entire society. Okay, now you guys are going to have to go ahead and build these little super domes. Drums, please. Yeah, get the beat Nick Nanos. <laughs> I love these drums. Okay, now underneath my little purple tarp here, we got a super dome. Now, this super dome is going to allow the, the atoms to see the entire solar system. Are you serious? <laughs> you want us to build new homes? Yeah, come with me, boy. Come in here. I'm Mr. Lipka. Come on, let's go. Look at my, look at my table. <laughs> you like this? Is what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a city like this, a little, little future, futuristic dome houses, just like this. You understand? So, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, nanotechs are gonna build it, or us? Nanotechs, little, little supercomputers in the air, and we control them with our brains. There are no pathways, and we're gonna make an entire society, and we're gonna make a glass house. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> whoa! I heard glass houses. Yeah. Okay. Now. Listen to me, boy. You're going to do what you're told. The king, the queen, the bishop, the rook, everybody. We got magic wands. We wave them when we think about things. We make them happen. We'll be like, this is what's happening. You understand? Oh, God. All right. Now, we're going to go up and we're going to tell everyone what we want right now. You understand? Okay? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah! Okay, now look. 
these mirrors, this question you asked, remember the question you asked? Why can't I see my reflection of myself in the same mirror at the same time? Like a Disney mirror, mirror on the wall and stuff? <laughs> remember that? Okay, now, we got the atoms to see the solar system. That's a bigger question. Now, go find a bigger question than ask your stupid question. Right? You, you preoccupied. Okay, hear ye, hear ye. <laughs> we got the answer to the pond's question. The pond's question, yes, he's like, why can't I see my reflection in the mirror at the same time with my shadow? Well, we made an entire glass society. We're going to make big old telescopes, and they're going to see the stars and the atoms at the same time. Yeah! See, I'm Martin Luther King. You know what I'm saying? Are you serious? That's how you just... This is stupid, guys. We're not doing this. <laughs> hey, if he convinces him to do that, you guys are going to be screwed. Hey, now listen. I asked a simple question. I didn't say I want to build a super society. Hey, you guys are... You, this is this is bull. He's not listening to you guys. Okay. All right. We got to do something here. You guys got to get control over this. He's going to cause a revolt. We are not building your Superdome Society. <laughs> you understand? Uh, let's go down here. We got to go talk to him. <sighs> All right. Now, come here. I got something I want to show you. This mirror, it's a symbol. It's a symbol of the reflection of the self, the soul. It's a symbol of the eternal self. You guys, I'm coming down to your level. You understand? We're not above you anymore. We're showing you what needs to go on. You have a big question, okay? And your big question, why the, why the hell is he trying to distract me? Now listen, listen. Your question that you asked about mirrors, this important question, we came up with an answer for you. You're going to have to build glass houses, okay? Now you understand, boy? I don't think he understands. Now, you're going to be in charge of this. We want all of you to follow him. But I don't want to be a leader. I don't want to build your super society. Why well, don't want to build your super... Just listen. It's not going to be that bad. Yeah. I mean, listen, oh, I could do this. My name's Robert Lipka. You understand? I'm the traitor spy. I was, I was a Russian spy. I was the rook. <laughs> Just listen to me. I, I can do this. I can do this. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. It, now, when I put my, my scepter to my head and I'm looking in the mirror, oh, my gosh, look at Voltaire. He's starting to waver. Oh, my gosh, look, the dome is starting to crack. I can't believe it. What just happened? Biofeedback resonance is what happened, bitch. Voltaire started to disappear. I think the queen's sick. Oh my god, look, Voltaire, our little devil worshiping little Nazi brainwasher thing that gets into our brains. Now look, okay, I, I think she is dead. What's going on? The queen's sick. Oh, I can't believe it. The queen is down. And Voltaire, he's all, he's getting fucked up. Damn, the little devil guy is all fucked up now. Queen's dead and the fucking satanic fucking brainwashers fucking whatever. Okay, I got an idea here. Look through my eyes. Now, here's what we need to do. I just had a brilliant idea. Now, if I build this glass dome city and we get that little nanotext and we get everyone with the bow resonant feedback, we can break all the glass domes. <laughs> That's brilliant. If we get... I get it. That's the idea. I... <laughs> Mirror plus what the queen did plus what the scepter with the little nanotech grid. And we can do... Okay, I will. With these hands, I will build your... That's good. That's what I thought. Go ahead and build my city. Hear ye, hear ye. We're going to build the city. Yeah, my bitches. <laughs> They're going to build the city. Look at this shard over here. You see this shard of glass? Here, I'm going to go ahead and keep this. <laughs> hey, now, what do you think's really going to happen? Oh, cheer up. Go ahead. What do you think? You think we can do this? Think we can build this city? Uh, I think so. I love you. All right. Hey, I got a rose for you, too. Here's a rose. Oh, how nice of you. You gave me a desert rose. Hey, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, where are you going now? Get back here. Don't run off. What do you mean, don't run off? This is a lot of responsibility. I gotta build the glass home society and I gotta destroy the feudal system. We're just pawns. We're just pawns in the game. Come here, girl. Let me tell you, I, I really do care about you. I think you're awesome. <laughs> I think you're awesome. You're really cool. 
I love it when they have that lightning in the background. You just, Whoa, they're going to do it. <laughs> Natural baby time. Woo. All right. So now being the narrators that we is, I think that he's starting to figure out that the king and the queen and all this entire thing. So hear you, hear you. We got to build the city now. <laughs> I hear you saying that. But what happens if everything gets screwed up? I don't think he's going to do it. I think he's trying to take over. You guys listen to me. We got a problem here. Now, I want all of you to do what I... I'm not going to do what you say, boy. You think you're so special? You don't know anything. Wait, I had a good idea there. <laughs> he thinks he knows everything. <laughs> Guy thinks he knows everything. Okay, you guys don't want to work with us? Well, <laughs> tough shit. Yeah, tough shit. Okay, so... Why don't you guys want to work with us building the city? I don't know. Well, I'm going to go back. i got to talk to the obelisk. i got to go find out some questions right now. Mr. Obelisk? Mr. Obelisk of the super future supercomputer. Mr. fucking supercomputer, i got a question for you. Like, can you read my poem to the entire society? Please? Just read my poem. It's special. It's for my girl. I want the entire society to hear it. A thousand days have passed. Where a thousand times I've questioned, where the hell are you, girl? Where when I grip the foamy edge of the ocean sea? Where all the times where I see you? And I imagine the eagle, the wings of the eagle, and he's flying by. And I imagine the society. And I imagine you and me, girl. We love each other. Was that a poem? <laughs> I don't know. That was the poem? Yeah, you should read that. Okay, I got to go get my shit. I'm going on a long journey now. Time to become a man. All right, out of my quest. <laughs> yeah, quest time. Okay, so do you see that? He's going out on his quest now. Yeah, he's going out on his quest. He has no clue what this shit motherfucker's out there. All right, let's go. Okay, evil Disney corporate head. Doom, 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 doom. And they're all inside the Illuminati Trilateral Commission. Okay, hey, let's look inside and see what the elitists are planning. Is that a techno? No, that's the... That was Bernard Shriver. What was he doing? Oh, okay. All right, so I don't get this. Walt Disney, Rupert Murdoch, Steve Case, and the token rich elitist guy. All hiding out in a cave. What do they have in common? Whoa, they're going to play poker. Time for the elitists to pay, play poker. Poker time inside the mountain. Hear ye, hear ye. This meeting is in session. We are the elitists. We have built a question. A question for all questions. <laughs> all right. Meanwhile, back to the long journey. God, this sucks. This is an endless desert. But I'm going to do it. Yeah. Okay, so here's what I think. I saw an eagle out in the desert and it was flying about it was like the wings of the eagle like the poem we had to listen to every day in the morning poem here eagle eagle here eagle eagle i whistled to the eagle and he came and then the eagle landed on a perch that was perfect and then when i saw the perch i came after him <laughs> check him out he's watching the eagle <laughs> what do you think he's gonna do i don't fucking know <laughs> hey i think he he sees it oh the eagle's taking off it's time to go. Oh, I he think he's going to try to get the eagle. Oh, no. What if he's going to run? Oh, do, 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 do. oh, oh, he's got to jump over something. He's going to run. He's going to jump. Oh, it's Cliff. Oh, and he's on his way. Oh, he's got to get. Oh, he's flapping his wings. Whoop, 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 whoop. He's going to go. Hey, this is pretty good. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to pull up a chair. Let's get some popcorn. Hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, popcorn. Popcorn's awesome. Time to get some popcorn. There you hear ye. All in the king's court. We need to find some people to build this city. The pond's taken off. He's not going to take up his responsibility. Now you two, you guys can do it. Can you build this little glass dome society? Hear ye, hear ye. I have the power. I clap my hands. You, Bishop, Maurice Bishop. Look, I'm the king. I'm standing up on top. You understand? It's a symbol. That's what I do. <laughs> yeah. Now, okay, you think you can do it? We have to find somebody who can do it, who can build our super society. Our little glass dome homes. You understand what I'm saying? Ma, ma, ma. All right. So then, here's what we got to do. Now, why is this damn Voltaire always getting in my way? He, he's always getting in my way. He's in the middle of everything. He's just like interfering. He's Captain Interferatron. Okay. So now. Oh, look at that. I think he caught the bird. Oh, man. He caught the bird. Look at that. 
He's got him. Oh, holy fuck, you just bit my finger off. You little bastard. Oh, shit, it's getting real good now. He finally caught the wings of the eagle and literally took his fucking wings off. What a fucking sick fucker. Oh, he's going to run. What's he doing with the feathers? <laughs> fucking stupid clone. He just pulled the feathers off a wing, uh, off the wings of an eagle in the middle of fucking desert. Oh, shit, there he's going. He's about ready to jump. What's that on the edge? Oh, chirp. Oh, my God, he's going to do it. There's a little baby eagle. Chirp. Oh, my God, he's going to jump. What's he going to do? Oh, my God. Chirp. Oh, my God, what's he going to do? What? Oh, crap. I think he's going to. Oh, he jumped. Oh, mm. pause. All right. So he kills the mama eagle. Ah, dude, he's still falling. He kills the mama eagle. Oh, shit. He's still falling. Ain't. And the eagle's still sitting up there, wondering. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it. This is, a, this is like a crime scene. Okay, all right, now here's the elitist. Oh, let's go back in time. All right, now you control this, I'll control this. Hey, I got to bet with these guys that he's not going to be able to do it. I want to trade some time up. I want to get control, you understand? I want to control Voltaire. Well, you want to control the little demons? Yes, I do! Come here then. Bring it on, bitch. All right, <laughs> Bring it on. Come over here, Carly. Okay, now, you understand who the fuck I am? I'm William T. fucking Sherman. Now, you want to trade up your pawn time? You want to get control over the over the Voltaire, little satanic creature? You know, or puppet society? Huh? Think you're one of the elitists? All right. I'll trade you one of your elite fucking pawn units. All right. We'll, we'll play a little wager. So-called super elite society. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think she's, she's about ready to hang herself. <laughs> We have lived a thousand years through apocalypse with no fears. Here we are, here we are, where our fingers are a feeling, finding essential facts for our dealings, thinking to ourselves what invisible hands are steering. Yet one question still remains. Do we really exist? Let the media, the government, the corporations invent so that we may liberate you. So that we may liberate you. All right, so then I kind of get it. We're the elitist, and we're like in control of, whoa, what is that? Oh, my God, it's the honeypot. It's a suckle honeypot. She's trying to get the move on. She's coming in at William Sherman. She's like, ride time. Okay, now here's my pond. Oh, wow, well, we're all in a big pond factory, and we put you in the assembly machine. Then we form you, and we build a little society out of little puppetrons. Puppetrons. And then we push you on your way, and there you go. You must go do what the fuck you are told and do it do what you're told and then into the ghastly waters he fell on up with the feathers of the eagle and so he realized he had to go get the pawn the eagle the little baby eagle it was so gentle it was up there and then he saw it chirp i have the eagle uh, eagle's wings what have i done I can't believe this. And now I'm stuck here with this bird, the baby eagle. Meanwhile, you're going to have the baby, all right? No, I don't want to have the baby. It's all right. Don't worry. Everyone has a baby. You are going to have a baby. Hey, did you tell her she's going to have a baby? Hey, get out of here. What are you doing in here? Take that. Oh, yeah, you're clever. You just threw a pillow at me. Look, we just, we're having a conversation here. She's kind of pissed off. She's going to have a baby, like a natural birth. We've all done clones before. Yeah, I know. I get it. Clones. The clone society. Meanwhile, we need to find a good pawn. Somebody to help us build this city. The king's pretty agitated. Get in here. Please, please, sir. Please. Will you help me? Will you help me? Stop begging. Please, please, here's what I think of you, beggar. Hmm, I'm going to take a sip of water. Hmm, swish it around. Ah, I spit on you! Oh no, he just spit on me. And you know what's in the water? 
germs. Look here. All I'm trying to do is get you to understand I am the king. Come here. Boy, we're going to go give you the moniker. You too. You're going to get the moniker too. Why do I always have to deal with these people? It gets me so agitated. I can't handle this. Dealing with all these nincompoops. Send them in to get the moniker. Meanwhile, oh look, you'll have my little falconer helmet. You'll be my little buddy. I just killed your mom. Now you're my little buddy eagle. Just like that story of Apollo and the moon mission. But you're my eagle. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. it. Looks like an eagle out on the horizon, just like the stories we've been told. Come here, eagle, eagle. Eagle, eagle. How far should we go, man? I don't know. Let's go out into the desert. What if we die? Don't worry, man. It's kind of hot out there. Meanwhile, I wonder what's happening. Meanwhile, it's getting hot, man. I know, it's starting to sweat, man. All right, I see the eagle now. What do you think it means? I don't know. I think I'm going to die. Look, if the eagle gets here, we might not die. I think they're going to die. What do you think? This is where you and I differ. You understand? Well, I don't know. They've been walking for three days. No food, no water. They're trying to find their buddy. But listen, I don't think they're going to die. All right. I'll, get, I'll buy your shirt. I'll buy your little propaganda. You think that they're not going to die. All right. Uh, how long? How much further we got to walk, man? I don't know. I don't think I can take any more. It's getting fucking hot. You going to carry me? That's pretty cool, man. Thanks. Hey, come back here. Meanwhile, the bird sees him. Look. I think they're dead. Come here. Oh, my God. My buddies are dead. And here's a letter they wrote. Dear Pawn, we tried to find you. Your girls had a kid. It's all bullshit. You'd be like, what's up? Okay. Meanwhile, now look, you're going to have the kid whether you like it or not. If I have to use a super nanotext to get it out, I will. Meanwhile, obelisk. Meanwhile, <laughs> look, just concentrate. You're going to have a baby. Relax. Really? I'm going to have a baby? Wow, that's kind of cool. You think it's going to... Oh, no, it's going to hurt! Just chill out. Get it out. Get it out. I don't want to have a baby. Don't... Ah, it's out. Ha, ah, ha, Look, I'm the baby. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. A little natural birth. Oh, God, this sucks. You see that? She's praying to the obelisk now. All right, what are we going to do? My two friends just died. Hey, look, it's a U.S. Space Command. What are they doing in a cave? I don't know. Hey, he figured out where the U.S. Space Command's at. <laughs> They're in a cave. <laughs> the myth of the cave, man. We should go down there. You want to? Yeah, let's go ahead. Going down to the myth of the cave. All right, we're going to go down. The two horses, the Apollo mission. Just pulling the idea along. The eagles. Yeah, whoa. Going into the cave. Now, here's the elitist. Oh, look, it's Disney, it's Warner, it's Ford. I got the gavel. I'm going to slam the gavel. Whoa, look, I think those are strippers. What are they doing here? Ooh, this is what I think of your idea. Fuck you. Let me show you my hiney. Look at my hiney. Oh, wow, that's kind of weird. Hiney. Look at my hiney. You had enough fun? Uh, kind of. Just don't pound the gavel again, please. Well, that's what I do. I'm the leader. I'm supposed to pound the gavel. No, you're not. Um, I bet you if you don't pound the gavel, we will all follow you. If you do, we won't follow you. Pound the gavel. No, he did it. I can't believe he... Well, what else am I supposed to do? I'm William fucking T. Sherman. <laughs> that guy's pretty cool. Yeah.